played Battlegrounds before, you'll notice that almost every Battleground has the same UI at the top of the screen. You may have those little icons that you can press and all of them do different things. That's what I'll be teaching you how to do today. To be honest, it's actually so easy to set up that even a baby can set this up. Alright, so how do devs of these Battlegrounds do this? How do they get the same UI at the top of their screens? Well, I can't confirm for sure, but I'm very confident that they use something called Top Bar Plus by Forever HD, also called Ben in the community so credits to him for making this awesome tool go to the first link in the description or just search top bar plus in google or whatever your search engine is and you'll arrive at this page right here scroll down where it says installation click it and you'll be redirected to this other website which is like the main site for this tool click where it says top bar plus model it's gonna take you to a roblox website and just click get or whatever appears here i already have it so i can't really get it again once you've downloaded the model then you're gonna want to go to the project you want to set this UI for. In my case, I'll show you how to set it up in a blank base plate. Go to your toolbox, go to the inventory section, and you should see the model called Top Bar Plus. After this, in your workspace, you're gonna have this new folder called Top Bar Plus. It contains the script that will manage the UI for you. So go ahead and put that inside replicated storage. By the way, if you don't put this in replicated storage, it won't work. If you go ahead and test this now, you're gonna see that it comes with an example UI. And if you go ahead and click it, you can see that the heart gets filled. If you want to add or remove UIs to the Top Bar Plus, go to the local script called README. You can add a variable here and pretty much any code you want, but do not remove these two variables since they're required for the correct functioning of the script. If you take a look down here, it says icon.new so what is that icon.new is how you create a new ui up here you can set a text label for it by doing colon set label under it or next to it i believe it also works and then you just put the name of the label there in quotes as a string of course you can also set an image for it by doing colon set image you don't have to specify the selected or selected if you don't want the image to change when selected by the way for example i remove the deselected one i'll change the example label to battlegrounds for example Example, and remove the selected parameter down here and now if we click play you're gonna see that it says battlegrounds and the image doesn't change if we click it or not now how do we make this detect when it's clicked let's say that for example so it can toggle a menu you do colon bind event selected function and then you write the code you want to run under this for example print click now if you go ahead and test and you go ahead and click as you can see it prints clicked in the output down here before I show you the drop down menu I want to say a quick thing about the images in here. You don't use the normal ID of the image here. You gotta use another ID that images have. But don't worry, bro. It's actually very, very easy to get. Let's say I want this Phoenix image ID to be like our new icon in the UI. Click it, go to the URL and get the ID, which are these numbers over here. If you put this ID in the top bar plus UI, then you're gonna see that it won't show because as I said before, that's not the UI that the top bar UI works with. The easiest way to get the ID that you need for the top bar is you insert a decal and paste the code into its texture property then take the id over here and that's the one you'll want to paste and there you go now it shows now last i'm going to show you how to do a drop down menu just like this so do colon set drop down open parenthesis and open the key brackets or whatever they're called yes i don't know what they're called get over it i don't want to hear it and inside this you go icon.new as if you were creating another section and if you want to detect if the player clicked the icon you can literally just do what we did before for but under the newly created icon so take bind event and paste it under this i'm going to change the print string to click two so we can differentiate now you test by clicking play and there you go it printed click two you can also add an image by doing set image and you can also add another element to the drop down menu by doing coma and then the same thing as before essentially this is a table that contains all the ui in the drop down there are a lot of features that this top part thing has and you can check it out in the feature section from their main website i won't over all of them because well yeah but definitely experiment with it i think it can be a good addition to any game even if it's not a battleground especially if you're a starter scripter and yeah that's all i got for today bro by the way we got a discord server so if you want to talk with other developers or whatever just go to the last link in the description this said keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace